This chick got the nerve to be smiling after murder, murdering your own daughter. I tell you, boy, these chicks dangling over everything. Man, I tell you, I don't know what's going on in our community, man, but these chicks will kill their kids and mess with these no-good men. I don't know what it is. What's up? What's good? It's your boy, Zillion. Welcome to the show. It's breaking news. Malaya Bass's mother and her boyfriend has been charged with the death of two-year-old Malaya Bass. Let me read the rest of this. Sahara Irvin, 20. Trevion Thompson, 21. Were charged with injury to a child and tampering with evidence in the August death of Malaya. Court documents said the couple killed Malaya and put her body in a sewer drain, which was recovered in Bray's Bayou. The little girl remained was possibly identified by the family members, man. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. Thompson's mother, Angel Harris, says she's okay with her son being in jail because he needs to face the consequences of his action. Thompson and Irvin told reporters that Irvin left Malaya alone for five minutes at a playground when she was cooking. Then the couple claimed they couldn't find Malaya and claimed she was kidnapped. The mother says, the grandmother says, it's a bunch of lies. A bunch of lies, man. Rest of the family saying they're happy that the truth is coming out. Thompson's bail is set at 150000 and Irvin's bail is set at 175000 okay? Now, th this is what happens in our community. Uh, when the kid is not beneficial, when the kid becomes a, a burden, um, and when you bring these no-good men into the house, which these women love, these black women love, these no-good men, this is what black women love. No good guys. Um, bring them into their home. And usually they'll get rid of the kids. Say, say, say he got some beef with the baby daddy or whatever the case may be. They want to get rid of the kid and just get him out of the picture. Okay. We're going to kill the child and we're going to make up some crazy cockamamie story that the kid was kidnapped. First of all, um, she claims she left the kid at the playground in a high crime area claiming she turned her back and she turned around and then it was gone then they say she changed her story several times then the truth finally comes out i hope they get double life in prison and i hope the mother gets more time than the father i mean i hope the mother gets more time than the boyfriend because that's her seed that's not his seed she, she is the one that allowed this Negro to come into the house. She allowed him to come in, and they both killed her. They both killed her. Crazy. So they must have been a, this, this young girl probably was abused and everything else. Just being beaten and abused. And, you know, and when you abuse a child too much, sometimes these, childs, these children die from abuse. They die from the, you know, from beatings. So many stories of these kids die from being beat too much or beat too hard. And they beat the child half to death and then try to get rid of the child. This is some sad, sick stuff, y'all. I'll keep you updated on the rest of this crazy story. And uh, a lot of people ask me why I didn't do a story on this. I wanted to wait and see. I knew the mother. I, listen, when I first heard the story, I knew the mother was involved. I just wanted to sit back and wait till the truth came out. Because, you know, nowadays, if you, if you call stuff what it is, how you know she did it? How, you know, everybody would try to come at me with that bull crap. You always talking about black women. So I said, you know what? I know the mother did it. In my spirit, my spirit told me this mother killed her child. I said, she did it, but I'm going to wait till the truth. Now the truth is out. Now what y'all got to say? It's funny. Some people will still justify this. This, this is the sick part. I have people justify mothers killing their kids. These trolls come out of nowhere. I'm like, y'all just sick. Get a life. Do something with yourself. Straight up. It's too many mothers out here killing their kids. There's too many women messing with no good, low down, dirty, disgusting, trifling men. And that makes her worse because anytime you know this nigga ain't no good, he's trash, he's garbage. You do not love your child because if you love your child, you would pick a better mate to be around your child. You wouldn't pick a no good man just living in your house, living off of you and just doing nothing, absolutely nothing, but just giving you ding -a -ling. Dingling and attention is the only thing required to be in a relationship nowadays. That's all these women want is dingling and attention. They will bring any stray cat, any stray dog. They will bring anybody off the streets into their home. It's sickening and it's sad. 
And here we go with another death, another murder. There's hundreds of thousands of them every day. The kids get murdered by the mother or the mother's boyfriend or by the mother and the boyfriend, which in this case, it was both of them. I'm out of here. Put your thoughts in the comments. It's sad. These kids coming to the world and they're here in a blink of an eye. They're dead that quick. They come here and they're gone. They don't even hardly live. They, 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 they're here for a second and out of here, dying at two, three, four, five years old, getting murdered by their own by their own mothers and their mother's boyfriend. It's sickening, man. I'm gone. It's a serious problem in the black community, man, and I'm going to continue to call this disgusting problem out. I'm out of here.